Hi guys, Corey back here from Stretch Fitness here with Dr. Trina Stewart here in the aesthetics room. And what I learned today is that this is the room uh, for uh, groups of women to come in for aesthetic work. If it's a prom or a wedding or a get together, uh, a group of women can come uh, in, a, in a decent sized group to do all that at once, which is new to me. Uh, tell me about some of the other services you offer here, Dr. Stewart. So this room is generally used by my esthetician. Um, I have one at the moment, but on occasion we have more than one. Okay. And certainly we, we can accommodate large groups yeah. because I have access to some of my former estheticians that will come okay. and help us out Great. Um, on busier wedding days yes. or, um, you know. How many, well, we're, how, what is a typical size group that comes in this we, room? We've had groups of probably 10 or 12 in okay. here. Yeah, we'll bring in other chairs. We've yeah. we've had them catered before. Yeah. Okay. It, it depends on the on the group. Yeah. Um, what they're looking for. We generally have some, you know, nice um, waters made up, some detox waters sure. and, and uh, snacks and, and things yeah. like that. But very social time. Very social. Very they social. love it. Oh. They're in here. Usually we have two having a service at any given time. On occasion, if people are interested in a massage, my massage therapist is doing somebody oh, in her massage room okay. at the same time and they kind of rotate around and they, they float yeah. and yeah it's, it's, a uh, it's, a, it's a great day to just kind of be together and, and think about what's coming you sure. know particularly yeah. if a wedding or yeah. whatever is going to okay. happen yeah and, and makeup can be done in here as well yeah. we have a portable um, makeup stand we'll bring in okay. and, and, and do so. And the other room uh, one of your uh, massage therapists is now certified in cupping yeah, my massage therapist Erica recently certified for cupping okay. um, and she is incorporating it into her massage therapy treatments. Okay. Um, it's not an extra charge or anything yeah. like that. It's basically she will see a patient determine what their problem is yeah. through examination and history and um, if she feels it's appropriate she'll incorporate it. It is interesting, I must say I don't, I haven't read up on it per se, I've yeah. talked to her about it, um, but my medical mind tells me that the whole purpose is to isolate the muscles that are most spasmed and problematic okay. and that is where you know the suction cup is applied to promote more skin, more blood flow to that area of the muscle and also to separate the muscle from the fascia which is the layer below that's, that's on the bone. Yes. Um, and then it's interesting because it kind of leads her when she puts the suction cup she can see the areas that are most active based on where the blood is, is coming to. And so she will move the su suction cup based on that. It's very, it's very interesting concept. Yes, yeah. I do want to learn more about it myself. Yes. And the patients so far that she's treated feel it's helped them. Yes. Um, and you know they're leaving here. They always leave here feeling somewhat better. But anyone that's had a back problem, a neck issue, a shoulder problem, know that one session will sure. not be it's enough. Sure, it's a treatment process. Yes, for sure. it's definitely. And as part of process. they come in for a history, an exam, and then the treatments are are, are set mm -hmm. in a certain. They're case. tailored to the yeah. patient um, and their individual needs, and and Erica will go ahead and say, you know, when you leave, okay, we should see you next week, yeah. we should see you in two weeks, yes. and she can also set up a maintenance yeah. program for each oh, once. That's one thing I've stressed to our members over mm -hmm. and over again, if you come in with aches and pains, you've got to get it checked out. Mm -hmm. There's nothing I can recommend or suggest, uh, but you have to go and see the experts to get, get fixed and, and then come back strong. Mm -hmm. The lovely thing about massage therapy, as long as it's registered yes. um, and you know a person that's appropriately trained and certified, um, private coverage will pay. Sometimes even without a prescription. Um, so I I never hesitate to write a prescription for my patients, regardless of if they're coming here for them. Yes. Yeah. Or, you know, um, I think it's an important part of just keeping themselves well and healthy. Yes. And, you know, out of out of pain. Yes. Great. No, that's great. Thank you very much, Dr. Short. Again, this is Corey from Stretch. Thank you very much for watching.